It's a cold, blustery day in Harlem where I've come to do research on my book because yes, but I am working on a book and that's what I'm here to do. So as you can see from the window behind me, I'm in the Netherlands in one of my all-time favorite towns, Harlem. I love this city. It's often overlooked, I think, by tourists, and it's just a short distance out of Amsterdam. Anyway, I'm here to do research on my book. The subject is a secret, but uh, I will certainly let you in on it when the time comes. But in the meantime, join me for a stroll through Harlem. outside the Taylor's Museum where the source of inspiration for the book I'm working on lies. I had hoped to take you inside. Unfortunately, I didn't realize it was closed on Mondays. I just stopped for lunch. I'm going back around up to the up to the library in the archives. So anyway, I can show you a little bit of it here. Here we go. And I guess you will just have to come and discover it for yourself or maybe next time I come for my research I can uh, show you a little more. But really, it's definitely worth a visit. It's absolutely amazing. Having blown the museum visit, I guess we'll just have to go shopping. Ottomania has exquisite handcrafted items from Turkey, especially textiles. Here, with the striped awnings behind the bicycles, is another of my favorite shops in uh, Harlem, although apparently it's chained throughout the Netherlands and Belgium. And the name is Dilla and Camilla. Yeah, Don de Lamar is a must stop for me. And I can now say I've been there in every season. They feature vintage furniture that they paint themselves and beautiful home accessories.
Are you using the Dutch chalk paint you mentioned to me? No. I'm using a fusion mineral paint. It's a mineral paint from Canada. And we love to work with it. I'm not a movie star. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think you have potential. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So I'm back in the house in Harlem though with my shopping haul. But to start, I wanted to show you these, um, these pouches that I got. I got a whole bunch, they're so adorable, from uh, Dom de la Mar. They're tweed with little uh, roe deer vignettes. Roe deer are these small uh, European deer, if you're not familiar with them, they're adorable. And I just love these little pouches. You can hang them on a tree. Yeah, they're perfect for small gifts, candy, things like that. You can also hang them on a fireplace, is what they suggested to me, the lovely women at Don de Noir. So of course, I got a whole bunch. Uh, and then at Dilla and Camilla, Don de Noir is the one with the painted furniture and all of the beautiful home decor. And uh, Dilla and Camilla is the Dutch chain store. Fortunately, they don't have any in France yet, but I hope they're coming. So there, I got a mold for Speculos featuring a rooster and, and a windmill, of course. And I, I got their signature organic Speculos mix. So I think um, I will be making some Speculos when I get back to Paris. So stay tuned for that. And then also at Camilla and Dilla, I got they do have wonderful textiles as well, so I, I can't resist a cute dish towel. So this is a Dilla and Camilla dish towel with little Dutch houses on it. Of course, once I get back to Paris, I'll probably think, why did I get a dish towel with uh, Dutch houses instead of a dish towel with French houses? Anyway, I'm glad I got it. I love the color and it's a really nice quality, like everything Dilla and Camilla is. And last but not least, well, I can't show it to you. Oh, sorry, it's already a little gift for a friend I'm having dinner with who loves this boutique, Automania, uh, which I showed you the exterior. For some reason, I didn't feel comfortable filming in there, but maybe I will next time. Anyway, Automania uh, with their absolutely stunningly beautiful handcrafted uh, items, mainly textiles. This is a little crocheted necklace in very, very fine, crocheted in thread, basically. It's so fine, but anyway, you can't see it, so I won't go on about it. But if you're in Harlem, I really recommend going to Ahmania. Okay, well, uh, that wraps up. Oh no, it doesn't quite wrap up. Okay, I have one more thing that I got in Dilla and Camilla to show you. This. It's a hedgehog house. Uh, of course, living in Paris, I don't have hedgehogs. Um, I'm going to take it back to my mother, and she doesn't have hedgehogs either. In fact, I said to the sales girl, uh, will it work for skunks? And she gave me a blank stare, and she said, it will work for rabbits. So I said, rabbits, good enough. I'll take it back to my mother in San Diego, and she can make a little home for the rabbits. So there we have it. That's the full haul, except for the research, of course, but the research haul I can't share with you yet because, as I mentioned earlier, the project's still secret. So um, do stay tuned for the, for the Speculos uh, recipe, which I'll be doing back in Paris. And uh, until then, have a great day. Give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more home decor hauls from France and the rest of Europe. And to keep up to date on new videos, be sure to hit subscribe and the little bell.